What's going on, motherfuckers? What y'all got going this morning, man? Roll on here. What up, st what up, groceries? What up, Keisha? I ain't been live a long time. <laughs> Keith, what your ass doing out there? They say, I don't know what the fuck to do now. What up, son? That was a good game yesterday, huh, too? Fuck Dallas. <laughs> yeah, I'm still in my room, shit. <clears throat> I got my westerns on. I'm watching my TV. But look, look. Nigga, my curtains is closed, nigga, shit. I got about another 15 minutes before I get up. CJ, what it is? What up, T-Sex, you slimy bastard? Hey, Odessa, fuck you, too. Let me see, let me see. Man, I see the fat man up this morning, man, doing what you do, huh? Look at you, got, you got, I see you got your food on the TV. Yo, yeah, I'm talking about, you still ain't let it go yet, huh? I can't eat it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that <laughs> shit look good, but they ain't gonna eat it. I see, nigga, Say, hey, you see Lucky the thing about meat on his page. They got, uh -huh. them steaks look like they had something in them. I told me, send them motherfuckers to me, man. I'll cook all that shit out of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Say, man, real quick, man, I'm glad I got you this morning, man. I just want to tell everybody, man, first off, what a privilege it is to have my big homie, man, with me on this journey that I'm going on, man, with this PRO, hosting my first uh, PRO. I know the West Coast don't know a lot about it, Punch, um, but it's something that's been going on down this way on the East Coast, as you can see, for the last 15 years. And basically what it is, it's a convention for old and new members uh, to become better in the MC community, to learn how to operate your club, to learn who, you know, what positions or what, who duties or what. And, um, but this year, Punchy, I think we're going to put a little twist on it, man. One of the reasons why I invited you and Snow was because for, to me now, in my opinion, the, uh, you know, it kind of, it kind of got watered down, man. And you guys don't have the problem that we have on the East coast or on this coast. I don't even know if this is considered East coast, down South, whatever. But one of the problems we have down here is, the regulation of who, can, who of who can and who can't. And I know you guys don't have that on the West Coast because you guys have a whole entire di different situation. So my, my main purpose for even bringing you in on this was to, was to um, first enlighten you on it to, to you know, to, to try to get you to be a part of uh, everything that I'm going because you have been one of my biggest supporters, um, you know, from day one, man, just keeping me going and telling me never to stop. But your personal opinion on on a, on a on a conference like this, what do you think about it, Big Um, first off, you, uh, well, when you were snowman was telling me about the little the, the little uh, what is it called, a prog? 
That's what y'all yeah, call the proc, it. The proc. The proc. Yes. I mean, it seems like it's going to be cool. We, you know, like you say, man, we ain't never did nothing like that on this side, you know? Yeah. Only thing yeah. we really do that is our annual dances and stuff like that, but the, um, it that seems like it's going to be fun, man. I already had, I didn't have guys from other clubs call me and ask me, was we really going? I'm like, yeah, they like, do well, shit, nigga, we about to book our tickets. And these yeah. dudes from this, you know what I'm saying? So, it looked like we're gonna have some fun, Sil. It looked like it should be cool. I mean, yeah, but I, 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 I got I, that part, Punch. I got that part. What I'm saying is, and, and I want I need you to keep it real now, because that's what everybody is expecting from us is to keep it real. That's one of the reasons why I'm calling this, I'm titling this one, The Truth Will Be Told. Um and, and, and again, we're not coming in to to cause no ruckus or to to start a whole lot of shit. But one thing about the cats that I got now is that whatever question, if you bold enough to ask the question, you damn sure gonna gonna hear the truth as we know it. You understand what I'm saying? So it, it's not a disrespect towards anybody. I don't want nobody coming there thinking, oh, we coming to to tear down the set or do this or do that. We're actually coming to to rebuild the set and just to to not. I ain't gonna say rebuild the set. Well, I can't say we we gonna rebuild the set, but we're just coming to kind of put it back on the right tracks if we can with, with, with whatever help that we can provide to get it back on the right track. Um, so I, that's what I'm saying as far as that goes. Yeah. You said it right. Don't say we, we ain't coming to rebuild nothing, man. We just coming to keep it 100, you know? Yeah. You gonna, yeah. You yeah. going to have us banned, nigga, like Ray Charles got banned out of Georgia. <laughs> Hey, you say the boy got the Georgia song and can't even sing it in Georgia. <laughs> man, man. they gonna get us bad, bad. Hey, but you know, I, on but the, let on me the, tell you. Hey, look, Sil, if they yeah. got us up there and somebody asks us a question, you gotta keep it a hundred. I mean, a, 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 they got to keep it ninety nine point ninety nine ninety nine nine nine. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Just for yeah. real. Yeah. If, if yeah, if you don't want nobody to ask you nothing. Or don't say nothing, then, then a nigga shouldn't go or whatever. But at the same time, yeah. like you say, then we ain't we not going to. I don't plan on going out there to hurt nobody feelings or or to say nothing to disrespect none of the guys or none of the girls. I just I just know how in my 17, 18 years, how it's been going and the, the shit that I done learned from the defined ones and the. East Bay Dragons, the DTs, the Soul Brothers, the ones on this side, nigga, I just know it, it's one way to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's one way to do it. And it ain't all about dictating nothing. It's it's being a grown ass man or a grown ass woman, huh? Period. You know? Yeah. So yeah. I think it should be fun, like I said. I think it's gonna be real interesting. And and shit, you know, nigga, we always got a lot to talk about. <laughs> for yeah. real, and yeah. then you start writing questions down now. Yeah, and that's what I've been doing. I've been trying, you know, just keeping my mind straight on different stuff. One of the things we're gonna do too, like I told everybody, um, we're gonna take this shit back to adulthood, one being men and women one on one. I think we once we start there, because I think what's what's going on in the set, man, is that a lot of people you're asking a lot of people to join a motorcycle club and be on some adult shit, but they themselves haven't had to be adults. You understand what I'm saying, and and I think it gets lost in the sauce when I say that. Not 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 disrespecting anybody, but what I'm saying is this: I come from the West Coast. I'm I'm from where punch you from, you know, Compton, Watts, Long Beach. Don't walked on the streets constantly. Go back every chance I get. I miss home from time to time. But coming from the West Coast, coming over here, the major difference is is that as a man or a woman. Can't nobody tell you what to do. I will. I'll, I'll do it if you know if if this is what I agreed to do, or if you teach me how to do it the right way. If I'm doing something the wrong way, but you're not gonna come to me and just dictate to me what I'm supposed to do, or even take nothing from me. And I think that that's the part that that is being lost because where do you punching as a man get off telling another man what he has to do? Yes. Yeah, see. 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 First. It ain't that you telling somebody what they got to do when they get in your club. A lot of these dudes should figure out if they want to be in certain clubs before they get in the clubs. 
You know what yeah. I mean? See, yeah. see, we all on as men, but if you know the rules of my club is you got to ride your motorcycle. And I tell you, nigga, you got to ride that bike, bro. You, that ain't me dictating to you. That's just you supposed to know the rules when you get in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have a yeah. choice. Either you follow the rules or you leave the rules alone. Meaning, leave your vest here. Ain't no hard feelings. Man, for the last, for the last 15 years, I've always had this motto, man. I see you when I see you. It ain't for everybody. You know? Now, Jeez. even though you in, in in the club no more, don't mean you're not going to be my friend. You know what I mean? But yeah. half these dudes and half these ladies, I ain't gonna even say the ladies, but to have these dudes when they get in when they get in certain clubs, instead of them bringing something to the club, they they let the club make them who they are, and they already grown. They should have already been who they was from Jump Street. You know what I mean? And, and, so, that's, what, and that's what I said in my last video. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what a nigga need to know, homie. You you the club the club is already the club. So when you bring something to the club, I'm talking about whether it's is is. Oh, you a longshoreman. You might be able to help somebody later. Or you got the hook up on this. Or or you a crooked ass deacon or a crooked ass preacher. No, that ain't gonna work. Let me take that back. <laughs> if it's just whatever you do, man, you you bring it to the table to be a strong person and you can help the you can help the club benefit. It, you know, I say it all the time, Sil. A lot of these dudes, man, when they get in the clubs, they turn into a monster because they never been Crips of Bloods. Nigga, they never been in the Boy Scout. They never been in the fraternity. They ain't never been in the Army. They don't even know really what to do. So when they get in, yeah. the first thing they think is, nigga, they put the S on their chest, nigga, and, and they turn to Superman. You know what I'm saying? Well, so did, you, did, you see, did you see my post the other day? Did you see my post the other day where I said, uh, superheroes wear capes, not motorcycle vests. Man, nope, nope. But you right as a motherfucker, though. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it just, it just, the club don't make you Superman, homie. You know what I'm saying? It don't. Yeah, it. Yeah. Man, you supposed, you supposed, like me, man. I don't care what nobody saying. I've been saying it for years. When I walk into a place and I know niggas don't like me or niggas standing around looking mean, I always walk up to them tell the nigga, man, smile, nigga. Loosen up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? There's too many women in here for you to smile at, then you mad because this nigga got this on or that nigga got that on. You know what I mean? Or yeah. if you that upset, you shouldn't come anyway. And I tell yeah. niggas all the time, the way some of you niggas want to run y'all club, y'all should have stayed in y'all gang. You should have stayed in your hood. You know what I'm yeah. saying, nigga? This is yeah. over here, man. You know, and I yeah. and I don't never knock no gangs, homie. You know, because all my niggas done did it for nigga the, the beginning part of their life when it was kind of fun. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I always ask niggas one question when it when it come down to gang banging. Would you want that for your son or daughter? And they say no. So then it ain't cool. It can't be cool yeah. if you don't want it for your kids, right? But yeah. I ask my niggas at my motorcycle club. Would you love for your son to do this? And they say, fuck yeah. Me, nigga, I, I would have loved for my boys to do this, homie. I, I don't know how it's going to turn out with Cody, but I know Deesky probably end up doing this. And you know Fat Jack. Yeah, Cody, Fat Jack what you mean? Probably, you should already, nigga, Cody tried to ride, Cody tried to ride the bike the other time and dropped it. So, you know, Cody tried to get on it already. <laughs> nigga, that was, nigga, that was Deesky, nigga. That was oh, that was, yeah, that was Deesky. <laughs> that was their to free my bikes, nigga. <laughs> Leave the king alone. But, but so all he, boys should have so you, you already know you got to hide the keys from him. Yeah. Man, but he know better now. Out there. That nigga hid in, he hid in my motherfucking uh, in, he hid in the attic. In the attic, nigga, for a couple days. <laughs> Those slimy bastards. <laughs> but, but all boys should have side, though. I would love for my, for my sons to. To be rare breeds, homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I plan on dying being a rare breed in about another 90 years or something, you know? But I would love that for my boys. I, I yeah. wouldn't I I wouldn't want my boys to be gang bangers. I don't give a fuck where they from. I wouldn't want that for them, man, because it only lead one place, dead or jail. I don't care what no niggas yeah. say. Dead or jail. That's it, yeah. homie. You no, know, look, nigga, Marquise so died. Yeah. Marquise died a couple weeks ago and he wasn't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, it, yeah. 
it, it got to look at the positive on all this shit, homie. And like I say, no knock to no clubs, but at the same time, man, the niggas niggas need to be on some positive shit. What a lot of these black dudes need to do in these motorcycle clubs, they need to go back and watch one of them old ass movies, man, where we was treated as fucked up in the movies. Rosewood and all that type of shit. Man, they need to do that. And then them niggas yeah. get a better outlook on life, period. Because it always been fucked up for us. So while we get older now, we still want to make it fucked up for each other. You know what I'm saying? That shit so you say watch some, watch some of the history and change their mindset, huh? It said, we we got treated fucked up by everybody coming up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before, before we was born, right? Our our grandparents and shit and mamas and them got treated fucked up. So now it's better out here. But why we treat each other so fucked up? Nigga, these niggas, it, you know why they don't never have terrorist acts, nigga, in black neighborhoods? Because we kill each other every day, man. We kill they each other gotta every waste day. They, they don't have, why would they waste their time and energy? I don't have to waste no bullets in L.A. Shit, they, it, it, it's plenty of them already. Listen, man, yeah. if, a terrorist, if a terrorist came to L.A., man, he ain't going to do nothing but be, but be practicing because it's already, that terrorist shit has already been going down the whole nine yards. What I will say is this, though, and I want to give credit uh, to all the OGs, DOs, and everybody else, but I will tell you this. This is a known fact, and I don't give a fuck who agree or disagree. Rare breed helps slow down the gangbang. It helped at least bring some type of communication or some type of, you know, uh, of uh, not understanding, but some type of just time out type of shit for the gangbang. So the motorcycle set in general in L.A. on the West Coast kind of gave you know, niggas a different way out. Like I say, it's, it's a proven fact that, like I tell everybody this, can't argue this. Rare breed, as far as motorcycling, created the swag. Okay? Us down yeah. south, we created the yonder. You feel what I'm saying? And when you put them both together, and when you put them both together, you don't have nothing but a peace of mind and fun times. Period. Hey, yeah. on, on everything I love, Cell, nigga, I keep it 100 all the way through, homie. Nigga, before before we was rare breeds, nigga, we was low riding real tough. You know that, right? So yeah. So with us, with the with the car game, nigga, that kind of slowed down the cripping in the blood, nigga, from the east to the west, nigga, because we okay. that's how we all first start meeting each other, nigga. Okay. All the comp is the Grape Streets, nigga, the, the kitchens, the, all the Inglewood families, all the Pasadena mm -hmm. Denver lanes, all that, nigga. We all came together, nigga, with the cars. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, it, and it, yep. it, but it was still killing going on. But nigga, how can you hang out with a nigga Saturday and Sunday, and then want to shoot him up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? You see what I'm saying? Then yeah. when we elevated the game into the motorcycles, nigga, we looked at the DOs, and that we didn't know nothing about the about Oakland then. You know what I'm saying? Because guys in Oakland didn't like LA dudes. You know what I mean? That's that was the the saying. So. When we started the motorcycle stuff, we looking at it like a it was more of a grown man type thing. The only way a nigga had a motorcycle, you had to have some bread. You know what I'm saying? So okay. that's how we elevated our game. Look, then when we start going to when we start building bikes, nigga, at my mama house, we was building our bikes, nigga, in '96, nigga, like our low riders. If if it come off, chrome it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If it, if yeah. it come yeah. loose, you chrome it. You paint it. You do this. You do that. So. Nigga, when we first started it, nigga, on not to knock nobody, but like even the old dudes, the DOs, them niggas, them niggas had nice bikes, but they was old school bikes. We just took yeah. the game to another level when we became rare breeds. You know what I'm saying? But then when we when we went to Oakland, nigga, them niggas in Oakland, they had nice bikes, but them niggas was known for speed. Nigga, them niggas had motors, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, yeah. now out here, you still had old man uh uh, Tone Tone. Tone Tone was one of them fast motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Some of the old rare breeds, they was, they had fast bikes, but they wasn't, they never taught us shit. Everything yeah. all us young niggas learned, nigga, 18, 19 years ago, nigga, we learned from Pee Wee, Doc Ross, Bobby Jr., Bug Ray, all them D.O.'s. Then when we got to Oakland, nigga, we started learning shit, nigga, from Toby Jean, Big Melvin, all of them, you know what I'm saying? Hungry, my nigga hungry, OG hungry. Yeah, man, old nigga heavy. We, heavy, we yeah. us, we learned it from 
from the OG niggas, but we learned it from the OG niggas that wasn't rare breeds. You see mm. what I'm saying? The only yeah. thing our niggas, K Dub used to teach us, homie, was is it, to be a man, be a man, be a man. He didn't be still none of the riding in us, or, or none of the want to go places, or none of the shit that we know now, homie. Them niggas didn't teach us shit. We learned it from the OG niggas from other clubs. You know what I'm saying? Chosen. But don't, but, but don't you think? But don't you think KD like a K Dub? Don't you think he was on to something too? Constantly t teaching you or, or telling you about uh, to be a man? Because I think that's lost right now on the bike set. I really do. No, I he, think it's lost. But he he did teach us that, and and it ain't that it's lost on the set, homie. It's just that it's is you bringing more youngsters to the motorcycle set instead of us telling these young niggas how to do shit. We just let a nigga run them up, you know? And don't get me wrong, all the youngsters on the motorcycle set ain't bad. You know what I mean? Like, no. nigga, I'll keep it in a hundred and get them young niggas from the wolf pack, man. They trying. They young, but they not out here on no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They they yeah. really not. Yeah. I fuck with a lot of them little young niggas. But a lot of the young niggas from a lot of the clubs, though, they not out here on no bullshit. They just out here, and they want to go fast. They want to look good. But you still have more fun, nigga, getting to yonder. You know, yeah. you so here we have more fun, nigga, in Atlanta or Texas or Oklahoma. Or you know why? Because it's just a different atmosphere, man. It's just people having having more fun. And but see, back your way is still a more of a motorcycle atmosphere. It's it's okay. really some biker shit. Even though y'all shit is kind of way out as far as the way they do shit. We, <laughs> we could never get used to that. But yeah. it's just, it's still some of the most positive shit that we ever did, man. Being in these motorcycle clubs and having fun with this shit, you know? See, see what we, what we, what I don't see a lot of now is when we, when we first start being in the clubs, how we used to have our baseball games north against the south. You know what I'm saying? It would be the East yeah. Bay Dragons and the DOs against us and the uh and the good fellas. You know what I'm saying? They sometimes we okay. play out there, sometimes we, we meet up at the highway run in Fresno, and and nigga, it would just it would just be fun, homie. You know, you know a lot of the dudes in Oakland was pimps. You know what I'm saying? Niggas out here, nigga was Crips and Blood. But I have never seen the pimp game like that, nigga. And, and just for example, we played a baseball game one time, nigga, against the uh, against the Goodfellas. Goodfellas had had about five or sixteen pimps in their club. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you could just you take my fun. now look now you me and you done, we done seen all them old movies with Richard Pryor, City Forty Eight, oh, yeah, year, right, that. yeah. So yeah. now you just picture this, homie. You just picture a good fella getting up there, nigga. We pitch the ball to this nigga. He hits the ball, homie. Probably got a 10 care diamond earring in his ear. He hits the ball and did not move. That nigga bitch ran out the dugout and ran the bases with this nigga. Homie. <laughs> so, oh, my mama. That was some of the best shit in the world I've ever... I mean, I've seen shit like that in movies. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Reports, dog. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just... Hey. It just... It what, makes, it, what you it, say? It hey, you, hey, what you say? What kind of dick game he got to make a bitch run the bases up? Oh, Cell. She ran... <laughs> and she had on heels and some Daisy Dukes. Hey, hey Cell. And yeah. she was wait. Did you hear what I said? Yes, you, she, was, you what? she was Asian. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing it a long, I've been doing it a long time. Not long enough because I still got a long way to go. But I swear to you, bro, I have met some of the best guys and girls in the world since we've been doing this motorcycle shit, bro. You know, yeah, and 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 I'm not gonna say that. You know, well, well I say this: long as you live, you gonna die. You gonna see death, yeah. and it seemed like it comes so much to us now. Cause I always explain this to all the fellas when they say punch, man. It just seemed like it's 
it's just so many people dying. And I say, no, it's always been a lot of people dying. What it is now is when we was growing up, you only knew the people you went to school with, the people you yeah. was in the boys' house with, uh, or the people in your neighborhood. That's what you really knew, right? If your neighborhood yeah. fuck with another neighborhood, you your circle might be a little bigger. But now since we done got grown and doing this motorcycle shit, our circle is is the United States. So of course yeah. it's gonna be somebody dying every day, all day that you might know. Because we didn't yeah. open those doors up to to make our circle bigger. You know what I'm saying? So now all we really got is each other. We in the fourth quarter for real. So yeah, we don't we want the motorcycle to be fucked up. Nigga, we we want to make the motorcycle set great like it used to be, and it still is, but we want to just bring it back to that greatness, man, from when all the old dudes taught us. So when we get out there to the to the proc, nigga, that's what I plan on doing, man. I want to meet a lot of new people, man. I want to I wanna the, the guys in the one percenter clubs that I don't know. Nigga, I want to come talk to him and chop it up with him and laugh with him. You know what I'm saying? I want yeah. him to know that Red Breed, we not no one percenter club. We don't have no problem with one percenter clubs. We want to function with everybody, and we're gonna come to everybody shit if we get invited. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we side with nobody. We side with us, man. And we love everybody, man. We love everybody, and I wish everybody the best. And if they come to that shit, man, I want to shake their hand. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I want to yeah. shake their hand. You ain't got to walk up to me. I'm walking up to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. Well, and like again, fun. man, like I said, it was it was, it was was a privilege for me, man, to invite you out. First off, for you to accept and be invited out, man, and for us, for people to get to really sit down and talk to you. Like I said, 18 years in the game. Uh, as a vice president, I know people are going to want to know why you never decided to go be to, to be a president. But then I, we're gonna wait to let, let them say that. Don't ask that now. Save that for the for the proc, um, and and just to see the difference from the West Coast. You know, you coming from the game banking perspective. You coming from where you know uh, you have to be careful about even what colors you wear, what color your motorcycle is. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And just certain little stuff like that, man. But more importantly, to watch the transition, you've seen your club transition from from being one of the strongest clubs to a breakup to coming back to being one of the strongest clubs. You, you feel oh, what I'm yeah. saying? So so all of those things, man, are definitely some of the stuff that we're going to talk about because people want to know that. How do you survive a split? How do you survive a breakup? How do you survive losing key members? You know, or how do you maintain being a, being a key member and, and not being, not really being liked by the, sometimes by the rest of the members? I mean, we're going to talk about – so much different and, stuff, man. Like I said, this, go ahead, Punch. Go ahead. I said we're gonna talk about everything, bro. I was just, I was just agreeing with you, nigga. Everything, nigga. You know what this? You yeah. know what we gonna do? You know what to say, homie. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, somebody say, somebody say, somebody say, somebody say, you watching your favorite movie, Brokeback Mountain? What? I, I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> I love westerns. I don't believe it was never no gay cowboys, homie. If anything, they might have fucked the horse. But these niggas wasn't fucking each other. And I ain't never watched that movie. What they made that movie, homie? That movie made that movie. And whoever typed that cell, I guarantee yeah. you, he done licked some balls before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said it. I'm a, and I'm going to scroll back through here to see who it is. And whoever said it, your ass is grass, nigga. Oh, man. So, yeah. One thing, one thing I know for sure, homie. One thing I yeah. know for sure. Man, these, niggas, these niggas love us, homie. And they know no matter what, man, we're going to have some fun, man. Well, hey, hey, that's hey, what it's hey, gonna be, man. Saw, saw these red breeze shirts, homie. Whoever said that, yeah. nigga, he probably he probably wears shit on this side. Look, he wears shit on this side right here. Look, nigga, he gonna <laughs> want his job. This is what he wears. Whoever said that, he wears shit like this on this side. Know what he wears? Hey, hey, he found hey. some, some old bubble gum ass titty shoes. He probably be wearing too. A sucker, jive turkey <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> He goes hat, Sal. Whoever you got said that, this, yeah. this kind of hat he wore in his western. 
you look. You know what I mean? I'm A-Cell. I'm out here having a ball, homie. I'm going to rock out. Look at that. You see that? See my jacket right there? That's my low rider. That's, that that's that public enemy, man. That's that public enemy. Man. Yeah, Come on, man. Hey, I'm I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna live life, man, and I'm gonna rock the fuck out till I die, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Whoever well, wanna hang out that, with man, that's my man. That's my man, Big Punchy, man. We'll be one of the guest speakers, man. We will be speaking all day Saturday, taking questions. We'll be at the brunch. We uh, we're gonna be hosting the brunch as well. We'll be hosting the brunch on Saturday and the, the farewell brunch. Uh, Friday, we will be there at the meet and greet just to meet people and, you know, just do some sidebars and, and everything else, man. We're really coming to work our ass off. We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy the party and we're going to enjoy everybody. Like I said, don't, don't, don't think that we're coming there to just destroy the atmosphere. No, we're not. But you will be hearing the truth as we know it. And, and, and that's one of the things um, that we feel like needs to be brought back to the set, the truth. Like Punchy said, you know, whether you like it or not, it's going to be what it's going to be. One thing I will tell you is this. Bring your bylaws. When you come to this convention, bring your bylaws, because this is what I'm going to tell most of y'all. When you ask me a question, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, what do your bylaws say? You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Because you're not going to come in here and have us beat up your president, and you agree to be a part of the club that say your president will forever be president and some shit like that. If you sign yeah. the contract that say that, if, if you sign the contract that, that you agree to, your president will forever be president, and blah, 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 then don't come in there trying to get us to change that. Hey, you signed up for that. Hey, hey, sell on some real shit. Um, hey, let me, hey, I got one question, though. Do they do they yeah. got any Mexican restaurants out there? Out that way? And I don't know about St. Louis. I know they're supposed to be, they, they're supposed to be, St. Louis is supposed to be known for, like, I think ribs and shit like that, punk. Ribs and steaks oh. and shit like that. I might eat a steak, but I don't. I, and I need some chips and salsa, man. I'm gonna need you to fly some in for me, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my, <laughs> that's my only request, man. Fly me some chips and salsa in, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, when we go, let's, like I said, when we get there Friday, everybody, you'll be there actually Thursday night. We and me and Snowman get there early Friday morning. Um, after we do our little powwow or whatever we do with our, we, we got a meeting, I think, Friday. After we get our meeting, we'll definitely go somewhere, man, before everybody starts trickling in Friday night. And just spend some, you know, me, you, and Snowman time to try to get this thing on point, man. But, again, my whole purpose of this morning, man, was for you to just to get on here, man, and just let everybody know. Um, we're going to have a ball, man. We're gonna sp It's going to be the truth. It's going to be the truth. But we're going to have a ball with the truth, man. I promise you, man. And, and that's one thing that this PRO – and a shout-out to the PRO committee for taking a chance on us. Because we know they're taking a chance on, <laughs> on, this, on this panel right here. Shout out to them, and just shout out to every PRO team leader. Again, man, we know this is, you know, a chance that you guys are taking on the FHO brand and allowing me and, and to bring in Punchy and Snowman and, you know, and just to have us a ball, man, but to get this shit kind of back on some grown man shit, man, just, at least to let you, to remind you that, hey, you do know you're grown, right? So don't forget the dates. Um, that's in January 19th to the 21st in St. Louis, Missouri. See any T, uh, PRO team leader for your tickets. I think the tickets go off sale, I think, either today or tomorrow. And they're $60 in advance. I believe it's $100. Um, I think it's $100 in person when you get there. But I think it's $60 in advance, um, you know, that day. I will try to go live while we're there. I don't know. Um, but I would try, probably go live at least for a little while. But um, also – to let you guys know, this is something that we'll probably be doing for the next three or four years. I'm, uh, we're still negotiating the contract for the next three or four years. So if you miss this one, definitely be ready for next year. But you still got time to make this one, man. And uh, I think it's going to be a real great event. I think you got three speakers who are not scared to speak their mind, to tell the truth, and that have that definitely have made a contribution on all levels, from from just from being a bike builder to being to being business owners, to being responsible adults, to being fathers, to being husbands, to being you know, brothers in the whole nine yards. So I think Boyfriend you got a well-rounded conversation too. Yeah. Boyfriend too. Did you see what that? Some of us is husbands and boyfriends. Okay, well, my bad. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's husbands and boyfriends. You're right. my leave all my yeah. husbands out, nigga. Up there, nigga. Include them too, nigga. Fuck it. In including the new ones you're trying to get while you're there? No, I ain't <laughs> the, the, ones you the, one, the ones I you haven't met yet? 
I'm celibate, brother. Sell a little bit, give a little bit away, man. But I ain't doing none of that, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 2018, hey, man. It's it, man. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a ball, man. Well, I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I know you got to get to the shop, man. Appreciate the time, Punch. Again, I appreciate you for supporting me, man, and believing in me, man, and my movement, man, the whole nine yards. And just even, you know, from the radio station to just all of the stuff that I talk about keeping it real, man. So I appreciate that. Yeah, I got you, bro. Let me get back to my Westerns, man. I got to get to work, too, man. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Peace. All right, nigga. Later. Later.